Bimulay 51, turn right, heading 183. Hello, it's been a while, the longest break I've taken from any type of content production basically since 2018, and as a one-person show, running two channels full-time certainly does catch up with you in the end. If you're still watching today and you've stuck around, thank you very much for that. A very warm, happy new year, and I hope you're ready to jump back into things as we roll into what will be the seventh year of DJ's Aviation. While not much has happened within the aviation industry over the recent two weeks due to the festive period, there are still things to cover, including the perfect way to restart uploads, with coverage centering around a new order within the industry. It's an order you can argue that came from really nowhere and not many that people were expecting. Typically, the business is often concluded before Christmas, and then we see the industry come back to life in early January. When I mean the industry returning, I do refer to trade. The festive season is among the busiest for air travel, but it's also when executives and more do take time off. So for this order to come, just moments before the year came to a close, was certainly unexpected. The Aviation Capital Group announced they'd signed for 20 of the Airbus A220s and 40 of the A320neos in what was once again another significant commitment for the expansive portfolio of narrowbody aircraft that the aircraft manufacturer has put on offer. Aviation Capital Group is an aircraft lesser based within the United States, and for over 30 years they have worked in the aviation sector, helping create innovative ways to finance fuel-efficient commercial aircraft and provide leasing solutions to customers worldwide that will benefit all parties. At the moment, the announcement has been split, if you will. The 20 Airbus A220s are part of an MOU. This is essentially an understanding to make the order firm in the future. While 40 A320neo jets, might I add, are actually labelled as the A320neo family, as they will include 5 of the A321 XLRs, and these are a firm order. Thomas Baker, who is the CEO and president of the Lesser, said, We're delighted to expand our portfolio with additional A220 and A320neo family aircraft. These highly advanced aircraft will enhance ACG's strategic objective to offer our airline customers the most modern and fuel-efficient aircraft available. This commitment further improves the backlog on the A220 and has seen it quickly become one of the leading aircraft in its sector achieving precisely what Airbus wanted to achieve with it when they took over the series back in 2018, some almost four years ago now. And for Airbus, it was certainly a strong way to end the year in what saw them gain multiple new orders within December. That was definitely of detriment to Boeing, who have slowly but surely been slipping away in the narrowbody sector in comparison to orders. Where it seems to have just clicked for the European aircraft manufacturer, things have been a little bit more difficult over at the American one. What are your thoughts on the order announcement from the Aviation Capital Group. It's great to be back. Thanks for sticking around. Do be safe and I will see you next time on the channel for another video.